Dr. Ann Akers. Our score is Phyllis Hartley, Associate Director of Records at the University of New Orleans, and our recognizer for today's match is Mike Cooney of our production department here at WYS. Let's welcome them to please. Thank you. Okay, the stage is set. We begin round two with this question. We have a face-off here, and we're going for a lanyap of 20 points, teams. Double Fantasy was John Lennon's last album. For 10 points, whose latest album is called The Wanderer? Is it on Newman McLeod? Donna Summer. You're correct for 10 points. Newman's on the board. And here's a lanyap. It'll be a visual one for 20 points in two parts. We'd like you to look at the monitors here in the studio. You see them to my right and left. And this rather grainy picture still should make evidence who we're talking about. It's a picture of a country's leaders in a funeral procession for a former leader of their country. For five points apiece, name the country and the leader who recently died. Kosygin? All right. It's Russia for Andrei Kosygin? That is correct. Now you have 10 points, and here's a chance for 10 more. This will be five points each if you name two of the three leaders shown in the slide. Any two. Can we have the slide again? Yeah. You've got three chances. Slide the slide has disappeared. Took it back for retouching. There we go. <laughs> All right, take a good look at it. Brezhnev and uh, Dobrynin. Brezhnev is correct for five. The other two are Tikhonov, Nikolai Tikhonov, who is the premier, and the party ideologist, Mikhail Suslov. You picked up a total of 15 points, Isidore Newman. <laughs> Another face-off, we're going for a land yap at 20. The player who is the cornerstone of the University of Pittsburgh's defense became the first defensive player ever to be named. Hugh Green. Hugh Green is his name. He could go number one. <laughs> could go number one in the draft. You picked up 10 points. Here's a lanyap at 20. President Carter called it a fanfare for an uncommon man at the birthday celebration of an American composer's 80th birthday. For 10 points, can you name the composer? Aaron Copeland. Correct. All right, one more question. Music for the evening was conducted jointly by Copeland and the National Symphony's music director. For an additional 10 points, name the music director. Oh. Leonard Bernstein. No, it's Mstislav Rostropovich. Rostropovich. Ten more points for Newman on the question. And another face-off coming up. We're going for a landing up at 20 now, teams. President Ronald Reagan has reappointed former Senator and Democrat Mike Mansfield to the position... Bill Martin Segura. Ambassador to Japan. That is correct. Same position he held under Carter. Ambassador to Japan. You picked up 10, and here's 20 more, potentially, in four parts. All right, Martin, you can confer, of course, or you could delegate if you'd wish. Captain, the first four nominees to be questioned for confirmation in Ronald Reagan's cabinet had smooth sailing in the Senate committee. I'll give you their names, the first four, and then for five points each, you tell me what position each will hold. First, Donald Reagan. Secretary of the Treasury. Treasury. Secretary of the Treasury. That's correct for five. For five more, John Block. Block, Secretary of Agriculture. Secretary of Agriculture. Correct again. Richard Schweiker. Secretary of Health and Human Health Services. Services. Secretary of Health and Human Services. Right, and finally, Malcolm Baldridge. Secretary of Commerce. You got them all, 20 points, Brother Martin. <laughs> Newman leading 45 to 30, a face-off coming up, leading toward a land yap of 20. At times, Mars is only about 35 million miles from Earth, making it the nearest planet. The moon at its closest is 227,000 miles away making it the nearest celestial body. For 10 points, approximately how far away is the nearest star? Newman McLeod. 93 million miles? Correct, it's the sun. You've got 10 points. <laughs> and here's a chance to pick up 20 more. It's in four parts. I'm gonna give you one member of a famous pair and then for five points each, in each case, you tell me the other member. Number one, Eloise and? Abelard. Correct. Ulysses and? Um, Clytemnestra? No, it's no. Penelope. Penelope. Priscilla Mullins and? John Alden. John Alden. Correct. And finally, Pygmalion and? Galata. Galata? No, it's Galatea. I'm sorry, just off it. Three of the four gives you 15 more points. Isidore Newman. <laughs> Here's another face off. We're going for a landing up of 30. 30 points in the landing up this time. The first successful balloon flight across the Atlantic Ocean was completed a year ago. For 10 points, in what year was the first solo airplane flight across the Atlantic? Newman McLeod. 1909? No, I'm afraid that's incorrect. We'll repeat now. For Brother Martin, you must ring. Uh, and no consultation, of course. The first successful balloon flight across the Atlantic Ocean was completed a year ago. 
For 10 points, in what year was the first solo airplane flight across the Atlantic made by Lindbergh? Bill Martin Host. 1927. Correct. To the exact year. All right, here's a land yap of 30 points coming up, Brother Martin. You're trailing by 20. Our nation grew through our policy of manifest destiny. Some territories were added through war, purchase, or negotiation. For 10 points apiece, tell me within three years, within three years, when we legally acquired the following territories. All right, the first territory, East Florida. 1819? That's exact, without <coughs> any leeway, right. Texas annexation. 1845. That's exact. And finally, Mexico gave California to the United States by treaty. 48. That's exact. 30 points. Brother Martin, you've gone ahead, 70 to 60. Here's another face-off. All right, we're going for a land yap of 30 again. The architect and commander of Adolf Hitler's submarine fleet and leader of Nazi Germany for 20... Newman McLeod. Von Dönitz. That's correct. Admiral Karl Von Dönitz. The leader of Nazi Germany for 23 days after Hitler's suicide. Died recently at the age of 89. Here's your land yap of 30 points. For five apiece. Name the capital city for the following countries. First, Australia. Canberra. Correct. Portugal. Lisbon. Correct. Paraguay. Asuncion. Correct. Sierra Leone. Uh, That's a toughie. Know. Freetown. Bulgaria. Sofia. Correct. And finally, New Caledonia. That's Numia, N-O-U-M-E-A. In fact, you won't find that listed in some dic dictionaries I checked. Four of the six, you've got 20 points. Is it or Newman? You've gone ahead. The seesaw game. Newman now leads 90 to 70. We have a face-off going for 20-point land yap teams. For 10 points, who in American literature and letters was the leading exponent of transcendentalism? Newman McLeod. Emerson. Correct. Ralph Waldo Emerson. <laughs> exponent of transcendentalism. He also wrote many great essays and treatises such as Representative Men. Your land yap is 20 points if you can answer all four parts. Everybody knows that Reggie Jackson plays baseball. Well, almost everybody. Pete Maravich, basketball. Walter Payton, football. However, for five points apiece, identify the sports in which the following athletes have made it big. Maybe not so well known. Maybe so. Number one, Steve Cawthon. What's his sport? Horse racing. Correct. Ingmar Stenmark. Uh, slalom skiing. That's right. Johnny Petraglia. Is he a bowler? Bowling. Correct. And finally, Harold Solomon. Tennis. That's right, the indomitable retriever. You got all four, 20 points. All right, that buzzer signifies we're about to enter our rapid fire round, which climaxes every first half of competition until the final round. Now briefly, once again, I ask the questions as quickly as they're answered. You answer correctly, it's 10 points. Incorrect answers are minus five. Only one answer per question, no referrals. And we proceed until the end of the two minute countdown. This rapid fire is based on general knowledge again. The answers will be people, places, and things, all of which begin with the letter J, as in jump on it. All right, here we go. Number one, what? Uh, Brother Martin Thriftly. Jellyfish. That's right. Tropical shrub of the olive family with sweet smelling flowers. Newman McLeod. Juniper. No, Jasmine. English physician who introduced vaccination. Newman McLeod. Jenner. Correct. British Commonwealth country on an island in the West Indies. Brother Martin, the host. Jamaica. Correct. Very strong wind moving around either of the Earth's pro poles. It's called a jet stream. Its walls came tumbling down. Brother Martin, the host. Jericho. Correct. European blackbird, known as a jackdaw. French heroine who defeated the English at all. Brother Martin, Segura. Joan of Arc. Correct. Spinning machine with a number of spindles. Is it Newman Jocks? Spinning Jenny. That's right. Duke of Lancaster from 1340 to 1399. Newman McLeod. John of Gaunt. Correct. Pirate Flag. Brother Martin Segura. Jolly Roger. That's right. A Halloween Pumpkin. Brother Martin Thriftly. Jack-o'-lantern. That's right. British slang for a German soldier. Newman McLeod. Jerry. He was called Jerry, right. A person said to bring bad luck just by being present. Newman Jocks. Jinx. Mm, yes, that would be. Uh, Jonah or Jinx. Notorious Wicked Woman of the Bible. Newman Jocks. Jezebel. Correct. Famous American naval officer of the Revolutionary War. Jones. That's right, John Paul. Green or whitish stone, especially valued by the Chinese. Brother Martin LaHoves. Jade. Correct. Famous wife of Napoleon. Brother Martin LaHoves. Josephine. That's right. 
female rock star of Woodstock fame who died of a drug... Bill Martin Thriftly. Janis Joplin. That's correct. 19th century English physicist whose name is now a unit of work. Bill Martin the Lewinowitz. Jewel. That's correct. Capital of Mississippi. Bill Martin Segura. Jackson. That's right. Arab kingdom in the Mideast. Newman McLeod. Jordan. That's right. Famous Mexican liberator, statesman, and president from 1857 to... Bill Martin Thriftly. Benito Juarez. That's right. Prince who led the Argonauts. Newman McLeod. Jason. That's right. The Chinese temple. And on that, we end the game, and we're almost tied. What an incredible round. 405 points in the first half. This may be a record for first half scoring. I don't know. Newman, 205. Brother Martin, 200. And we'll be back in just a moment. Hello, I'm Liz Torres. What you just heard was a juxtaposition of the sound of music and the sound of silence. That's what we'll be talking about next on Here's to Your Health, hearing, how we abuse it and how we lose it. See it Sunday evening at 6 here on Channel 12. All right. Here's a face-off to start off our second half of play. We're leading up to a 30-point lanyard. For a quick 10 points, tell me the name of the King of England against whom the gunpowder plot was aimed. Newman McLeod. James I. That's correct for 10 points, Newman. <laughs> All right, Newman, this entitles you to a shot at a 30-point lanyap. It will be an audio question. I'm going to ask you three questions after we play this music. So listen. <laughs> You heard a sample. First question, name the composer. Mozart. Mozart. No, I'm afraid that's incorrect. Beethoven. Tell me what the symphony number is. Six. Sixth. Mm -hmm. Afraid it's the third. <laughs> Finally, what name is attached to this symphony, the third symphony of Beethoven? Is it Jupiter? No. Generally no, called no, what? No. Eroica. That's right, for 10 points. Here one. We have another face-off, teams. We're going for a land yap at 20 now. In 1979, they played in the NCAA basketball tournament and followed that up last year with an 18 and 11 slate and another trip to the NCAA. This year, they played Arizona State in the Sugar Bowl Classic. And they, they got off to a good start with a big win over nationally ranked Brigham Young. For 10 points, identify the basketball team I've just described. Brother Martin Segura. South Alabama. No, I'm afraid that's incorrect. Newman, anyone? Newman Jocks. Louisville. No, this is the University of Tennessee, the Volunteers. Sugar Bowl would be the key in that case. Okay, another face-off going for a land yap at 20. Approximately four months after the Russians launched Sputnik 1, the United States launched its first satellite, Explorer 1. Newman Jocks. No answer. All right, I'll repeat now for Brother Martin. No, uh, no consultation now. Must ring in. Approximately four months after the Russians launched Sputnik 1, the United States launched its first satellite, Explorer 1. Within two months, the U.S. launched its second satellite. For 10 points, what was the name of the second American satellite, which was also the first to be equipped with solar-powered batteries? The second U.S. Brother Martin Segura. Telstar. Mm, no, this was Vanguard 1. Another face-off for a quick 10 points. Tell me the name of the art director of the New Orleans Museum of Art. Bullard. Well. John Bullard. That's correct. E. John Bullard, you've got 10 points. All right, Newman, here's a 20-point land yep. Libya announced last September that it would merge with Syria, but a Kuwait newspaper recently reported that the merger plans have been called off because of differences between the Libyan leader and the Syrian president. For 10 points each, name the two men. Gaddafi is the leader of Libya. Correct. And uh... the Syrian president is Hafez Assad. You picked up 10 points. Newman, here's another face-off. We're going for a land yap at 20. Members of the zoological order Cyrenia are thought to have caused lovesick sailors to dream of mermaids. Brother Martin Segura. Mantis. Man Manitou. No, I'm afraid that's incorrect. We'll repeat for Isidore Newman. 
Members of the zoological order Sirenia are thought to have caused lovesick sailors to dream of mermaids. These large aquatic mammals are usually found lounging about the mouths of rivers and in coastal areas, feeding on vegetation. For 10 points, name them. Jocks. Manatees. Manatee is the word, that's correct. Our sea cows would have been acceptable. You picked up 10, here's a lanyap of 20 for 10 points each at room temperature. Which two of the 92 naturally occurring elements are liquid? Mercury and francium. Mercury is correct, the other is bromine. You picked up 10 more points. All right, we have another face-off. We're going for a lanyap of 25 points. For years it was said that this British poet's work was more laughed at than wept over. Elizabeth Barrett said of him, now isn't the world too old and fond of steam for blank verse poems in ever so many books to be written on the fairies? Yet no other poet could have written Tithonus, to choose an example. Newman Jock. Spencer. No, no, I'm afraid not. Brother Martin will repeat. For years it was said that this British poet's work was more laughed at than wept over. Elizabeth Barrett said of him, quote, now isn't the world too old and fond of steam for blank verse poems in ever so many books to be written on the fairies? Yet no other poet could have written Tithonus, for example. For 10 points, name this great 19th century author of Idols of the King. Brother Martin, the host. Keats. No, it was Alfred Lord Tennyson. Tennyson. We have another face-off. Okay, we're going for a lanyap of 25. It has been four months since the Shah of Iran died. His widow, Farah, is following Muslim mourning customs, dressing in black, refusing all social invitations for a year. For 10 points, where is she living? Brother Martin, thriftly. Egypt. That's correct, Cairo, Egypt. Now you have a chance to pick up 25 more points, which would narrow this gap considerable. There have been five vice presidents of the United States who have served as president, but have never been elected to the office. Never been elected to the office. For five points each, name these men who either did not run for the office or were defeated in their own bid for this high office. Lord Arthur Delmore, Arthur. Ford, Tyler, Tyler, and Tyler, 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 and Johnson. Johnson. All right. Arthur, Gerald Ford, Fillmore, Tyler, and Andrew Johnson. Andrew Johnson. You got all five. 25 points for Brother Martin. We're trailing now by 255 to 230. Here's a face-off. We're going for a laying up at 20. Juliet died as a result of the love for Romeo. For 10 points, who died as a result of her love for Pyramus? Newman Jocks. Thisbe. Thisbe's correct for 10 points. All right, Newman, you have a chance now at 20 points of land yap. The Lesser Antilles are a group of islands in the Eastern Caribbean. They're divided into a Northern Arc and a Southern Arc. For 10 points each, what are the more common names of each of these groups of the Antilles? Windward Lesser. and Leeward Islands? That's right. Windward or Leeward and Leeward. You got 20 points. Sometimes called by mariners lured, I understand, but I'm not a mariner. Here's another face-off. We're going for a land yap of 30. E.I. DuPont is one of America's biggest chemical companies. Although we tend to refer to the company just as DuPont, there's another part to the name. For 10 points, tell me the rest of the name. Ever seen a... Brother Martin, the host. The DuPont Company of Virginia? No, no. Newman, anyone? The rest of the DuPont name is De Nemours, or De Nemours. D-E-N-E-M-O-U-R-S, another face-off. In Alvin Toffler's latest book, the third wave, the author predicts that mass production of standardized goods will give way to one-at-a-time production of customized goods, and the mass media will no longer dominate. For 10 points, what is Toffler considered to be the key tool to the future? The key tool to the future. Brother Martin, one way. Computer. That's right, the computer for 10 points. All right, here's a chance to pick up 30 more. A flower contains the reproductive components for some types of plants. For 10 points each, identify the flower parts from the definitions I'll give you. First, the pollen-bearing organ made up of a slender stalk and a pollen sac. Stamen. 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 That's right, for 10. The cavities in which the ovules are contained. <clears throat> what are they called? Pistol. pistol. That's right. And finally, the upper tip of the pistol that receives the pollen. Stamen. Style. No, it's the stigma, but you got two of them. That's 20 more points for Brother Martin. You're trailing now by only 25, 285 to 260. We're going for a lanyap at 20, and this is a very short face-off. For a quick 10, what type of cell is an eosinophil? Eosinophil. E-O-S-I-M-O-P-H-I-L. Reproductive cell. No, I'm afraid not. Brother Martin, can you take it? Brother Martin, thriftly. Plant cell? No, it's a white blood. White blood cell. Another face-off. Who Yao Bang has effectively taken charge of China's Communist Party? 
virtually confirming the fall of the previous... Newman McLeod. Doing Xiaoping? No, I'm afraid that's incorrect. Brother Martin will repeat. Hu Yaobang has effectively taken charge of China's Communist Party, virtually confirming the fall of the previous chairman. For 10 points, name him. Previous chairman. Brother Martin Segura. Wa Cho Li. No, it's not Wa Cho Li. It's Wa Guo Feng. All right, we'll move on to another face-off. For a quick 10 points, what color is something described as auric? Auric. Brother Martin LaHost. It's yellow. We'll accept that. Yellowish, goldish. The color that would reach the eye would be a yellow color. All right. That's the decision of the judge. Here's a lanyap at 20 points. The new administration's press team has been selected for 10 points apiece. Name the man chosen to be press secretary and the woman named deputy press secretary. Press secretary and no deputy. Idea. Anyone? No idea. James Brady's the press secretary and Karna Small is deputy press secretary. We'll move along. Brother Martin trailing now by exactly 10 points. Here's a face-off going for a lanyap at 20. The latest vacant department job in Reagan's cabinet was filled with a nomination of Terrell Bell from... Brother Martin, Segura. Education. Well, we're going to have to, yeah. You should be Secretary of Education, but I'm sure that you're on the target. You get 10 points. Okay. <laughs> Being a bit of a stickler there. He's the Secretary of Education. It was oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Segura. Okay, we'll get it straight here. I'm looking one way and the bells are ringing right and left and here's a landing up at 20 points. Your flat-footed tie of 280. For five each, name the organization founded by the following men or women. First, Sir Robert Baden-Powell. The Boy Scouts. That's correct. Mary Baker Eddy. Salvation Army? Red Cross. No, it's Christian Science. No, he founded the Salvation Army. And finally, Clara Barton. The Red Cross. Red Cross. That is the Red Cross. You've got two of the four and that's 10 more points for Brother Martin. You've gone ahead by 10. <coughs> We have another face-off. We're going for a landing up at 20. The first tidal power station in the Western Hemisphere is already being constructed. It's expected to go online in 1983 and generate 18 megawatts of electricity from a 250-ton turbine. It'll produce enough power for 5,000 homes. For 10 points, what tides will this power station be utilizing? Newman McLeod. Bay of Fundy. That is correct. The tides from the Bay of Fundy. You picked up 10. You've tied the game. Here's a landing up at 20. You could go ahead. Six million tons of uranium ore were mined last year. For 10 points apiece, name the two states which produced the greatest tonnage of this ore last year. Two states. Nevada and Utah? No, they were New Mexico and Wyoming. The score remains the same, tied 290. Here's another face-off. We're going for a lanyap of 30 points. Archibald McLeish, the American poet, wrote a play with a two-letter title. Newman John. J.B. J.B. was the title for 10 points. He broke the tie. There's a chance at a 30-point land you have. If you can name this person after one clue, you'll earn 30 points. If you need two, 20. If it takes all three, you'll receive 10 points. First, she was a poor but beautiful country girl, once known as the Rose of Tacloban. All right, second clue for 20. Her face and figure brought her the title of Beauty Queen of Manila in 1953. Uh, there is the buzzer. Her name was Imelda Marcos. The game is over. And we're going to validate the final score. It is about that close. We'll be right back, right after this. Public TV enlightens on Sunday with Shock of the New. Time Magazine art critic Robert Hughes discusses the experience of pleasure in art, from Impressionism to the liberation of color in modern paintings. Then on Danger UXB. It's ticking. Well, come away then. Drop it! Danger UXB, Sunday on Public TV. See the first program at 7 and the second at 8 p.m. on Channel 12. And here you see the final score. And this has certainly been a game. Two powerhouse teams perennially, Isidore Newman 300, Brother Martin 290. That close. Isidore Newman, congratulations. You're the winner. <laughs> and I don't know what to say, Brother Martin, except you've got to be one of the strongest losers in the history of this game. It was a great contest. We look forward to seeing Brother Martin back again next year. And, of course, Isidore Newman will be back shortly. How shortly? Well, under the elimination tournament game plan, Newman will be back in April to play the winner of tomorrow's game between St. Charles High and Bourgeois. That's round three of Varsity Quiz Ball. We hope to see you tomorrow, same time. Goodbye, everyone.
The questions on Varsity Quiz Bowl are prepared and authenticated by the WIS editorial research staff and known only in advance to the quiz master, producer, judge, and researcher. All 64 schools participating in our year-long tournament are matched by blind draw. Selections of team members and methods of preparation are the sole responsibility of the schools and their coaches. The preceding program was made possible in part by a grant from Pan American Life Insurance Company.